Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to import deals to different pipelines or different stages. So, for this example, I've um, created a list of deals that should go to four different pipelines. So, I haven't specified the names of those pipelines. Um, in my Pipedrive account, they have uh, some other names, but that doesn't really matter uh, for now. Uh, the same goes for the stages. It doesn't really matter um, the names of the stages. Um, you can always, of course, uh, you know, put the same names of the stages, but you will understand in a bit um, why it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take you to Pipedrive to show you the uh, mapping phase. So this is when I've already uploaded the file. And you can see the four columns uh, on the left. And then the four possible fields from Pipedrive that I can connect uh, to those columns. So here, um, notice that I have um, pipelines, pipeline and stage. So actually, we only need one, and that's the the deal stage. Because if you drag it to pipeline, you'll see here you're gonna be prompted by this little puzzle thing, and it's gonna ask you to connect those possible values so pipeline one two three four to the possible values in pipe drive so it's going to show you all the stages from all the the pipelines you have so the same goes for you know if you if you move it to stage it's going to be exactly the same so um you can just choose one of those if you can drag it to deal pipeline or deal stage, uh, it doesn't really matter. They both work the same. So I'm just going to drag all my values from pipeline one to the first pipeline that I have called outer activities. Then <clears throat> I'm going to scroll down and then I'm, I'm going to see the first uh, stage of my uh, second pipeline called bunch of deals. I scroll down and then I can see my third pipeline called recurring uh, revenue I think that's the first stage of that pipeline I keep scrolling down oh okay I have three pipelines apparently so well my mistake I don't have four pipelines so I can just drag that to you know the first pipeline as well right and then those deals will be going to the first pipeline. So yeah, again, you only actually need one of these. So it can be the stage or the pipeline. Ultimately, you're going to be mapping this uh, against the stage of every pipeline. So maybe it's a good idea to, um, to actually list your stages in, in, the, in the spreadsheet. So then you can map them correctly to the stages of every pipeline. Uh, I hope that kind of makes sense. But um, yeah, that should be that should be it. I mean, then you can just press next, continue going. I'll just show you how that's gonna work out here. All right, so let's click on details just to see how that worked out. So here you can see my different deals and they were added to different stages. Let's actually go to my deals list view to show you that in a different a different way. Alright. Let's create a quick filter because I apparently have a lot of filters, a lot of deals already there. Very quickly today should be four deals there All right so very quickly here let's add pipeline and let's add stage All right so you can see that those deals were added to different stages to different pipelines sorry so yeah um that should be it. Here you can see the stages. 
these were the ones that I just imported. So yeah, I hope that kind of makes sense now.